The debate over teacher salaries continues as a deal between the district and the teachers union remains in limbo. And tonight, CCEA teachers held a silent protest outside of Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara's home, hoping to make a statement with their silence. Our Paulina Butska has more on what happened tonight. Teachers we spoke to say that they were expecting a much larger turnout for this protest. They say that those who were invited for Friday's protest simply didn't come out of fear of retaliation. Is a liar. Is a liar. For months, the heated debate over teacher salaries has persisted. Fed up teachers within the teachers union tried a different approach. The teachers took the fight directly to Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara's home. Since he's made it personal, I want to make it personal too. And so we're coming right to his home and we want a silent protest because uh, we don't really want to get in trouble. And this is a residential uh, neighborhood, so we don't want to disturb the residents of the neighborhood. But we want to make, ironically, our voices heard. Teachers like Ameris Bakaya made headlines last month when he and other teachers were arrested as they protested at a school board meeting. The ongoing debate stems from Senate Bill 231, which appropriates money in the budget directly for teacher salary increases. The Clark County Education Association has said in the past they will not budge from their stance on 10% increases in year one and 8% increases in year two on the next union contract. They're still trying to select an arbitrator, but CCA is standing firm and strong on the 10 and 8 that they we fought for as a union as teachers right and we fought for that we went to the legislature we lobbied for that sb 231 was signed in by joe lombardo so the money is definitely there dr jara has previously stated he supports salary increases i'm not denying that teachers shouldn't be compensated i think our teachers deserve a raise and i'm trying to get it to them and it needs to be at the bargaining table but as it stands the two parties have not come to an agreement on the numbers and are now heading into arbitration we reached out to the school district and the superintendent for comment about today's protest. We have not heard back. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Paulina Butska.